It's Sageway, baby. Alright, guys. So I did something weird last night. I went on a date. Yeah, I know. And it sucked. But I did get to watch the new Fast and Furious movie. And that shit was. It was a ride. <laughs> Now, I'm no Fast and Furious hater. I like my mind-numbing movies. I'm a simple boy. You show me boobies and explosions, and I'll buy the ticket. Honestly, it's literally why Michael Bay keeps getting my semi-fat ass in theaters every time a Transformer movie comes out. By the way, fuck you, Michael Bay. I'm not reviewing your movies until you bring my boy Shia LaBeouf back. All right, moving on. So yeah, unlike Unlike the rest of the weebs on the internet that legit get paid to hate on good films, I will not do that. But before we get to all the good stuff, I kind of got to tell you a couple things I don't like. Sorry. So for starters, I'm sorry, ladies, but Jason Momoa was a weird ass villain. It's like, honestly, I got the joke, the trope, you know, going against uh, every single villain in Fast and Furious was serious and all that stuff. But Kyle Drogo over here, kind of too not serious. Like, I thought he needed to be committed. Like, I guess this one is really biased because I love I love him in Game of Thrones. Like, watching him go from undefeated warrior to weird psycho guy who paints dead dude's toenails. I don't know. It just doesn't sit well with with me and my t and my tummy, not at all. But I guess Jason's taking the John Cena approach in Hollywood, so I can't I can't knock him. Next, uh, this one's kind of big. Um, I really didn't like that Brian wasn't in the movie. Like I totally understand, Paul is dead. It hurts to move on, but you keep blue balling us with these damn flashback cameos, and you guys. You guys already use his brother for these for these offense shots anyway, so I'm so confused. Just give Cody some acting lessons and give him the part already. Like I was super pissed sitting in the theaters realizing like, yo, Brian's not in the tenth installment. Aside from aside from the actual actor passing, I'm talking about Brian the character himself because he isn't dead. He's living. He's well alive, living his happy ass life, being a dad that he hates. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, while his friends are dodging bullets and rockets, it just, like, he's just hanging out, doing PTA meetings, getting cookies and shit. Like, if, you're, if you aren't going to kill the character with the actor, especially such an important main character like Brian, at least continue to build up the character. I feel like Marvel is such a good example. Chadwick Boseman died. So, Marvel took two years, and they, and they really processed his death and what it meant to the marvel universe and how important t'challa the character is in the marvel universe after they realized that they realized how to not only send off this t'challa but make room for another t'challa in the future that's so fucking creative it gives us time to process and it gives us time to cook up a proper good t'challa not some rushed you know fast gotta get him in just so we can get seats like vin i know you're not gonna watch my shit but like yo pa you could have done that like it's about time let's bring brian back um honestly i think nope i take it back that's that's not it now this one's kind of small but i really 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 didn't like the fights in in this in this movie now I'm giving that a pass, so this is like a small, it's like a small one. So we'll say 2.5 things I find wrong with this movie. This is a 0.5. And it was definitely the fight. So it was really, it was really dull. Even Leia, Leia Michelle's fight was trash to me. But I again I'm topping that with just the fact that nothing beats kicking Ron Rousey's ass. So I don't know. But it just doesn't, it really didn't, I don't know. It wasn't really there for me at all. The fighting's the fighting was really was was really dull on on this movie the most. But I'm gonna give it a sliver, a little tiny sliver of a hope, and I'm gonna assume that because they kind of build it up for a next movie, so I'm just gonna assume that the big fighting's gonna be in the next movie. So hopefully, hopefully, I don't know. Um, but other than that, I think everything else, everything else about this, 
I, we can literally get over the stuff I don't like, and we can get on to the things I do like. Um, first and foremost, the cast overall, awesome. Slops. Talk about Slop City. Like, I don't know if you guys know this. Pete Davidson was in the movie. All right? He was phenomenal. Okay? I love this whole thing that Pete's doing now, coming into movies, just being funny and just being him. Dope as shit. Fucking greatest fucking cameo of fucking 2020 fucking three you know other than that the cast were funny as fuck as always great shit was awesome rome was doing his rome thing you know he is more of a leader role in this movie which was fucking awesome you know we got to see more of the leader side of rome that he's been fighting for in like 10 fucking movies so that that shit was awesome I really enjoyed how we got to see a good old Fast and Furious street race. It really brought us, really brought us back to the roots. I remember sitting in the theater going, damn, this is really how it all started. And it just made me feel super fucking old, honestly. So thanks, Vin. That was fucking great. For an almost two and a half hour long movie, I would have to say this one didn't make me check my watch nearly as much like every time i kept maybe thinking about checking the time kyle drogo would do like a plie or some shit that's be mad fucking weird and it would actually keep me actually watching the movie more that doesn't that doesn't take him out of the bad pile though he's still ass i'm sorry but overall i would definitely say that fax x was a great if you have money to take to take your loved ones if you just want to go with the boys and get drunk or high as hell definitely say go see fast x that's all for now stay tuned for more movies tvs and anime reviews until then sage clan salute me familia